Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off. You and experts have established that the ADF rebels active in the east of the DRC and accused of Friday's attack on a high school in Uganda were receiving financial support from Islamic State group and were seeking to expand their area of operations, according to a report reconsulted by AFP. On Monday, one of the many armed groups scoring in the eastern DRC, the ADF are among the DDS accused of killing thousands of civilians. Originally, Ugandan rebels, mostly Muslim, who have been present in the DRC since the 1990s, they pledged allegations in 2019 to the ISIS, which claims responsibility for some of their actions and presents them as its Central African province. But their funding by the ICC had not been documented until now. In its largest report due to the released the, uh, due to be released this week, the UN panel of experts on the DRC says that the E has provided financial support to the ADF since at least 2019 through a complex financial system involving individuals in several countries on the continent emanating some from Somalia and passing through South Africa, Kenya and Uganda. The experts also state that the ADF have sent fighters and collaborators on reconnaissance missions in an attempt to extend their area of operations beyond the provinces of North Kivu and Ituli. According to them, they have sought to recruit and carry out attacks in Kinshasa as well as in Congolese provinces of Tshopo, Northeast and South Kivu. Ugandan officials accused the ADF of carrying out a raid on a Ugandan secondary school near the Congolese border on Friday night, which left at least 41 people dead. Uganda and the DRC launched a joint offensive in 2021 to drive the ADF out of their Congolese strongholds, but have so far failed to put an end to the group's attacks. The UN experts also devote a large part of their study to Rwanda's support for the M23 rebels in North Kivu, which they had already established in previous reports, although Kigali denies this. They state that they have obtained further evidence of direct interventions by the Rwandan Defense Forces on DRC territory and identified several other DF commanders and officials coordinating RDF operations in the DRC. They note that the security and humanitarian situation in the provinces of Ituli, North Kivu and South Kivu has continued to deteriorate. Thank you so much for watching.